I, I practice it here in my, in my office every day and trying to elevate people to feel like they have worth in this relationship. It's, it's a barrier, but it's just, to me, it's part of the challenge of how I want to make my work work. You know, I'm fond of asking incredibly open-ended questions. Um, like when I touch somebody and I, and I feel something, right? I say air quotes because what I feel is based on what I was trained, not what is actually happening. I can't feel your problem, um, but I can feel something that might connect with something you recognize, right? And say to my patient, what do you feel? And they sometimes really pause and they look at me like, what do you feel? What do I feel or what do I feel? Almost like I'm, I'm asking them a psychoanalytic question instead of do I feel pain, right? And I, and I don't let myself get trapped by that question. I say, well, what do you feel? And often a question like that is a spark to get them to begin to open up. I, because sometimes it's, I feel my, my vocal hoarseness, or sometimes I feel the fear I feel when I can't finish a performance, right? And you go into those layers of, of the true experience, not just the superficial piece or the piece that they expect to regurgitate for you because you're a physical therapist, whoever you are, right? And, and to me, that's part of getting past those barriers is how can I get this person past what they don't think they know and maybe what they do know and show them that it can have value in this relationship. And then I use that to, if we're stretching, right? If we're inputting, if we're doing stuff here in the throat, is there anything about what I'm doing right now that feels threatening or harmful? Do you want me to stop? Is there anything about what I'm doing that feels helpful? And if so, take your hands and put them over mine and help me help you even more. Show me what to do. And they might say, well, I don't know what to do. And I use co-creation all the time in my writing and in my, in my classes. And it's like, well, let's create this together yeah. instead of me doing it. Yeah. And I just think those are those sort of open up or at least help to unlock some of the barriers. There's never... There's never one size fits all on how to break down those barriers with clinicians, because some clinicians will never let go of power because they're, you know what, power works. The, the power-based model works because that's how most of the literature in physical therapy is and in voice manual therapy. That clinician as expert is a power-based approach and it works. So why should I let go of that? Mm -hmm. um, some people are looking to transition to something different, maybe based on new literature. I don't know what that might be.